Welcome to today's edition of The Buzz. We're live on Galaxy Television and it's another Thursday. Yes, it's a lifestyle Thursday on The Buzz. If you're an ardent viewer of this program, then you know on Thursdays is about relationship, lifestyle, uh, parenting, marriage, okay, finance, literally everything that affects um, the life of an individual and we're set to discuss trending issues on the social media space this Thursday. My name is Patience. It's a pleasure to be back on the program. And let me start by saying big congratulations to us all. I don't know if congratulations are in order, but since every um, senator or lawmaker in the country is excited about this piece of news, maybe we should be excited as well. So congratulations to us all as uh, Nigeria has just uh, entered into a new phase. Of course, you've heard that yesterday, Wednesday, the president, Bola Metinubu, signed uh, the new national anthem you know into law all right so it's now official guys all right we'll talk about that in a minute first let me introduce my guest on the program this afternoon pastor dolly is back this week and of course what is a thursday's edition without a pastor dolly she's here she's joining us she's a minister of god she's also an author she's authored two books two fantastic books and she's also joining us as a marriage and relationship counselor pastor dolly dolly good afternoon to you good afternoon. it's good to have you here Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. And of course, our IT guru, and I like to call him the man who is blessed amongst women. Mr. Rafa Malik is also here this afternoon. Mr. Malik, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Great to be here. Yeah, great to have you here. <laughs> Even at home. That's good to know. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget the number to use will be on the screen shortly. You can send your comments to that number all right i noticed some people are still sending messages to the old numbers please are you not tired of new things old things i mean old things have passed away <laughs> don't be old <laughs> all things have become new please use this new number it's always on the screen okay those ones if you send a message there i don't have um access to those numbers i can't read your messages on air okay so use the new one that'll be on the screen shortly and don't forget you can download the galaxy television app on your mobile devices and you watch us on the go okay having said that uh i started by saying that president bola metinubu signed the bill returning uh the old national anthem into law uh yesterday the president signed the national anthem bill 2024 into law and this final ac accent to the passage of the bill will bring about a shift from the uh now recognized arise O compatriot all right meanwhile the senate and house of reps had earlier approved the bill to change the national national anthem from a rise of uh that has been in use since 1978 by the way to this one nigeria we hail the uh during separate sessions anyways the anthem nigeria we hail the was originally composed for Nigeria's independence in 19... Uh, it was composed in 1959, but then it came in use at Nigeria's independence, October 1st, 1960, and it was written by Lillian Jean Williams, a British expatriate who lived in Nigeria during Nigeria's independence, all right? Now, the, the, the music of the anthem itself was composed by another expatriate francis becker okay so now we are reverting to this one because according to the lawmakers this new one the old one that's now become the new one i don't know <laughs> how to put it you know to them will promote um better unity you know foster uh, unity amongst nigerians more than the one we are we are used to uh, and all of that but then guys let me quickly hear from you <laughs> How do you feel about this new regime? Because it's a new regime that we are in. Mr. Malik, how does this make you feel? Well, new things are good. Mm. Okay, so if uh, we looked at uh, what we have been using and uh, it seems not to be very applicable, 
and we find what we have had before or something entirely new to be more relevant and current. Of course, it's always good to have that change. Mm -hmm. okay, so it's for all of us to look at it you know, deeply and uh, see how we can really synchronize it. Okay, all right. Pastor Donnie, how do you feel about <laughs> Already from looking at your face, <laughs> or how do you feel about how this new anthem? Uh -huh. If I don't like something, there is no way I will come and say I like it mm -hmm. because we are, we are moving, you don't like what you eat. Moving, uh, <laughs> people are moving from old to new, mm. and we are moving from new to old. So, how can I appreciate such a thing? Mm. How does that put food on the table of Nigerians? I don't think that is our problem for now. There are better things our senators should attend to. That will affect Nigerians. People are hungry. People are people are desperate in town. Things are not working for people. They want them to do things that will mm. make things to work for them. And you are taking them to an item that was constructed by us, by by our colonial masters. Are we now going back under the colonial masters? Don't we have brains? Even if we must change, we have brains in Nigeria that could have done something that we can say, okay, this is our own. This is indigenous to us. Instead, we went back to our colonial masters. Maybe there's something they are not telling us. Hmm. Maybe there's something... Okay, okay Pastor Dolly, you are more like yes. echoing... <clears throat> you know, some of the comments on social media. All right, a lot of people have come out in social media posts to say since we're reverting you know to old national anthem can we also revert to the old prices of things can we revert to the old cost of living where a bag of rice was 7500 era <laughs> okay can we revert I mean, all right when the dollar was you know at 200 naira or even below can we refer to that all right that for a lot of nigerians will hold more meaning all right but <clears throat> it is what it is and uh, i took a look at the social media space this uh, morning and i found out that some schools have already uh, started using this uh, this new national anthem all right uh, the students have already started reciting the anthem on the assembly grounds and all that so which means this is the new uh, way to go for us as nigerians all right so let's take a very quick minute let's go and see um clips from when this national anthem nigeria we held it was first used in nigeria at our independence let's take a very quick look and the lyrics so so that when you go to functions where <laughs> you know the national anthem comes up you are not there chopping your mouth go and learn the lyrics i'm also learning it because uh, i was not born <laughs> when this was used all right we are all coming into this together learning it except for maybe our parents uh, and all who already uh, knew this one but it is well um it's the new way to go uh, let's keep pushing as a people and as a country. 